Hey there, my name is Andrew and in this video we're taking a look at how to limit date selection inside forms created with JetForm Builder. Whether you're asking for a date of birth, setting availability for bookings or inquiring past job experience, restricting dates ensures you get valid information and makes your form more user-friendly. Plus, I'll show you how to dynamically control the input range based on the user's previous selection by linking two date fields. Before we dive in, quick reminder, if you enjoy our Crocoblock videos, don't forget to like and drop a comment. It really helps us out and keeps the content coming. I assume you have JetForm Builder installed and activated like I do. In my case, I already have a JetForm created as part of the Crocoblock template for a job listing site. This form is used to offer job positions to individuals whose resumes a potential employers might have found on the platform. So in this form, I want to add a date field where the employer picks the date when the workforce is expected to start. Let's integrate a date field block into the form, give it a label and in the value section of the block settings, find the starting from date field. This is where we can manually input the date to set the start of the calendar that pops up on the front end when users intend to fill in the date field. Instead, we're going to use a macro that connects with the current date. To make it easier to find, there's a wrench button here and the macro we need is the first one in the extra macros list, the one containing the words current date. Let's click it, save the form and proceed to the form preview to see how that works. As is the case with the JetForm Builder date field, clicking on the field triggers a calendar pop-up for choosing dates. We can still click any date in the calendar, however, when we choose a date before the current date, we get an error message. This message can be modified in the field's advanced validation settings and we actually have videos on our channel covering validation settings for fields and forms in more detail. Let's go back to the form editor, duplicate the date field and use a different macro for the same functionality, but with a slightly different display of the pop-up calendar. This macro includes an extra part in it and must be enclosed in a single quote. You can actually copy it from a GitHub repository accessible through a link here. On the front end, this setup prevents users from selecting dates before the current date. Even before attempting to click on restricted dates, you'll notice that they appear lighter in color, visually indicating the date range limitation. If we use the same macro for the limit dates to field, we'll see a similar effect but this time dates after today are restricted from selection. What if I need to create a date picker that allows dates after or before the current date adjusted by a certain period of time? For example, booking a doctor's appointment, but not earlier than two days from now, or providing a date of birth that must be at least 18 years ago. Good question, Andrew. Well, this is almost as easy as the previous functionality we showed, you just need to modify the macro. If we want to add a two-day buffer before the user can pick a date, we need to add a snippet that says add day and two in brackets. Watch out for the capital D in day. And by the way, this works for both types of macros we used before. For the second date field, let's add a snippet that says add year minus 18. On the front end, the first date picker won't allow selecting a date earlier than two days from now, while the second field only allows selecting dates that are 18 years ago or before. But what if I want to dynamically restrict the selection of dates based not on the current date, but on a previous input from the person filling out the form? For example, when a user picks a start date of a tour and the end date must be at least a week later. Let's do that. We'll modify the macro for the second date field by replacing the snippet that connects to the current date with the name of the first date field, where the user selects the start of the tour. I'll also move that macro to the starting from date field and I'll set the adjustment to 7 days. Now on the front end, after selecting a start date, the second date picker only allows selecting dates at least 7 days later. Since JetForm Builder also offers a daytime block, you might be wondering if there is a macro for setting precise time limits. And you're absolutely right. 
It works just like the date limit macro from the GitHub repository, but with the word time added to it. And of course, you can modify this macro to add extra time before or after the current time, or even connect it to another daytime field in the form. As always, my opinion is that Jetform Builder and the Crocoblock toolset in general offer tons of simple yet powerful tools that, when combined, allow you to create incredibly advanced functionalities. The more you explore, the more creative ideas you'll come up with. What do you think? Share your thoughts below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Cheers!